YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot today. I'm bringing a brand new video. What we're going to be doing today is playing some Strike Zone TDM. Obviously, I have the sounds foul, and I think I have Specialist on. I can see that I have Agility and ICU, but we're going to be talking about today is actually uh, something that a lot of people ask me about, and a lot of questions that I get pertaining to this, you know, they occur quite often within the stream and in the comments of my YouTube videos. I want to talk to you guys about how to convince your parents to let you guys play Call of Duty more, and I'm getting an early death. That's cool. I'm going to push up top hall really quickly to see if I can just break this right off the rip. And, ooh, and I'm dead. All right. Two deaths right off the rip. Not a good start, but that's all right because I just want to talk to you guys today and, and hang out. It's all good what happens in the game. We'll, we'll try and turn up here as much as we can. Uh, but what I want to help you guys with is your parents because when I started playing, it was a constant struggle. struggle. Before I started making money playing Call of Duty, it was more of a struggle than you guys will ever know because... Every time that I wanted to play, my parents were just on my case about it. It's like, why don't you get off the game? Why don't you come outside? <laughs> why don't you go do normal things that kids are doing these days? And they just didn't really understand the love that I actually had for the game and how much I actually enjoyed playing it. You know, I, I would honestly say that I have made, it, well, I 100% did. I've made more friends online than I have in real life. Now, some people that watch this video might think that's kind of nerdy if, if you're not really into the whole internet, you know, video gaming scene, and that's fine because I'm a nerd and it's all good. But it turns out that it, the situation that I'm in now is those best friends that I made online I'm currently living with. So it's not it's not weird anymore. And I don't consider it weird at all to, to make friends online because, you know, I, I think online is where you get to meet somebody and really know who they are because you're spending eight hours a day with these guys if, depending on how much you're playing and the entire time you're sitting there just talking to each other so it's like you you become really good friends and that guy just got absolutely destroyed i've been i've been like i said i've been doing this for a long time i've met a lot of people and and for me the, just getting past the point where my parents would let me play whenever i want was the biggest the biggest turning point for me like that's what i needed to change the most and what i what i did and and what i think you guys should do to make sure that your parents never give you a hard time is is honestly grade school and high school for me weren't too difficult uh school was never really an issue and and to be honest with you i don't think it should be for much as long as you put the time in you know sometimes if like a subject in school is a little harder for you you might have to put a little extra time but that's all right because you know that's what hard work is all about and for me, like I said, I just made sure I always kept my grades up in school so that my parents wouldn't really have an excuse. And I got a chem. What's good? It might not be the legit way, but I still got it. We're 19 and 2. Hey, we made a comeback, boys. Those two early deaths early on. I don't know why or how I got this AK, but I, this thing has been ripping for me. So like I was saying, I, I always kept my grades up to make sure my parents really couldn't give me any flack in, in that aspect. And, and that's something that I always found success with. But there was also little things that my parents would make me get off for. Like if I, if I didn't do my chores, like if I didn't take out the garbage, unload the dishwasher, uh, clean the kitchen, take out the, the recycling, whatever it may be. Uh, my mom, she, she would always tell me to get off the game. And then for whatever reason, your boy was just a rebel. And I, I would sneak on. And that, and that was what I really, that was my forte, sneaking on at night. But then she got smart after a couple years. She started taking my controllers and then when she found out I had backup controllers she'd start taking my Xbox power cord so mom was a genius I mean it took her a little bit but she figured it out um, so when when I first started you know playing competitively that was when it got even harder because y you guys know how hard it is to do chores in the middle of a match especially when it's when there's money on the line um, so it just it just took a lot of dedication and convincing them like hey this is my passion this is what I love to do shouldn't I be getting close to a, another chem here I don't know how, when I'm gonna get it but it's gonna happen here sometime soon that guy's mic is really loud but for me guys I really think that's the biggest thing is just keeping your grades up making sure you do your chores when you get home from school and uh, you know just get staying out of trouble and that's what I did in high school I, and and grade school I didn't get in any trouble I never was somebody who's playing pranks in class but that was just me and this guy's got music bumping in the background i can feel it keep your grades up stay out of trouble and game until you cannot game anymore because i love this stuff and i'm sure a lot of you guys do too so i hope you guys enjoyed the video we ended up going 32 and 2 not sure where that second chem came in uh if you guys can let me know what happened in the comments below would be very much appreciated thank you very much for watching and youtube we'll see you fudging later